with corrupt officials and bad-nosing citizens, but it's home. Is that right? I am so glad I'm going to go on an adventure with you so you can sit there and talk the whole time. It's going to be great. Okay. Let's go. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Let's check the map real quick. <laughs> Before we get too far into this crap. Um, we are going... Oh, that's not too bad. I can fast travel. Nya. We can just do it. Go right next to Swan's Pond. Because that was a super fun place to be. Not really. <laughs> I do need to uh, use up another skill point at some point. Cool, I found second. Okay, let's do that skill point real quick. What should we put it in? Channel your chi to unleash devastating fury. I don't really need that. Um, agility, finesse, and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in your vats and your ability to sneak. Now you instantly gained one point. 40 more damage with non automatics, 20% uh, more damage with automatics. Come whisper quiet. 10% damage of combat. What should we do? Hmm. Oh god, I just kind of really want to put it in this one. I have to be level 20 though. I'm only level 16. Boo! It's okay. Is the target have improved? Rooted. Okay, let's put it in... Where is it? This one. Let's do it! Awesome. Okay, where are we going? This way. Is she here? Did she travel with me? Okay, there she is. Vondaba. Go around here, maybe? Is this a place I can discover? I hear ghouls. Oh, lord. What's up, ghoul? Uh, oh god, they're so fast. Oh, I hate them. That's why I gave you a gun, lady. So you can use it. Okay, how do we get in there? Around this way? Do we need to go around the outside? How the fuck? Uh. <laughs> can I go through here? Why I gotta make shit so complicated, Fallout 4? Why? Can I actually... I have to go like... Oh god! Oh god! Nope! No please! I'd rather not. Thank you. Oh! Oh, wonderful! Oh god! This is not good. I should not have gone this way. Out. Where is he? What? I, where am I being shot from? Huh. Huh. I don't like it here. We're going back around this way. Fuck this. I, I didn't want any part of this at all. Thank you. Okay, we're going like this way because I'm not dealing with this. I'm just not, okay? Fuck you. Shit. All right, fine. I'm dealing with it. Nope. Okay. He's fucked off. Let's go. Go, go, go. Just gonna have to go the long way. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We good? Just have to go through here. Oh, look. Another super mutant. Beautiful. I didn't know I was in the land of super mutants. I don't know where Piper is, but she's just gonna have to fend for herself. Hello? Anybody? Matt, good neighbor. I don't know what's gonna be in here. I'm terrified. Are you friend? Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? 
Uh-huh. You can't go walking around without insurance. Oh, fuck you. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. Yeah. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Why did Piper dislike that? The gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Yeah, Good thank you. See you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, shit. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. It's you. You are in charge, sir. I am a guest here in your wonderful establishment. Let's go talk to the gun person. <laughs> well, hello. Everything Hi. here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Okay. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Don't Can't my lord. Tell? <laughs> yes. You certainly look like a woman. Yes. Then that's all that matters, right? <laughs> now are you buying what I'm selling? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Let's see what you got. I've got Let's do it. For every occasion. Uh huh. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't even know what the fuck I need. What is this? Oh my goodness! What is that? Oh, I want this. Can I have this? Oh, I need this. I need this in my life. Look at that. Ooh. What else you got? A boxing glove. Sure. Because <laughs> why not? Got a bunch of good stuff. Glow sight, a hair trigger, combat shotgun. Beautiful. Um. Let me look at my. Boomstick. It does 70. Uh, can I compare? Is that a thing? Where's the combat shotgun? There we go. It does 52. And it's a lot worse than, like, what I have. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'll just keep mine. Oh, I didn't hey, need to. Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. I fucking love this robot. I'll take a look, sure. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. This robot is amazing. <laughs> I love it. What else you got for me? Power armor frame. Its value is 5,000. Holy crap. Okay. Ooh. I do need some, like, better armor for when I'm not in my power armor. I mean, I'm always in my power armor, so I don't really... It's not really that bad. Um, what else we got? I kind of want the shotgun because it's got... It's going to take more than two bullets, right? Or two shells, I should say. Um, I have that. Party starter. Does 50% more damage against humans. Ew. What else you got? Pull Q. Pulse grenade. Some fucking awesome knuckles. Holy crap. This has got some great stuff. Sighted, augmented... Oh, God, I'm in love. Cleo, will you marry me? And bring all of this stuff? Because this is great. I do really want that shotgun. How much is that shotgun? Where is it? Go side to here, trigger shotgun. It's... 403. It's a lot. Oh, I do really want it, though. I'm buying it. I bought it. We're buying it. Except, did it. You look like you're about ready to topple over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, take some stuff then. Just let Wait me know. there. No, trade. Thank you. Okay, let's give her. Let's give her. 
that. Because <laughs> why not? Um, what else we got? What did I do with... Where is it? Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's turn over... Combat knife. And... Bladed board. And... That. Hey, I'll be here then. Thank you. Oh, she's got a power armor station. Oh, I love this place. It's great. It's fantastic. Glad I came here. What you got? Oh, new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Oh well, thank you. Oh, she can offer me work. Okay, cool. Um. Brotherhood of mm. Steel better stay out of good neighbor. Same. Excuse me? You want to say that again? Straight to my face there, pal? That's what I thought. Better back off. Alright. Where are we going? I need to go talk to the doctor. The crazy doctor that's going to pull some information from a dead guy's brain. The memory did. Neat. I like this place. I kind of like it better than Diamond City. Hmm. Cool. Let's go in. Hello? It's very quiet in here. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten all about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. It's a fucking sex dungeon. Awesome. I am g oh, I can't. What's in here? Oh, this like where? Okay. Let's not steal anything. I don't need them all pissed off. Can I talk to her? What's up, lady? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Hey, Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Yes, ma'am. All right, Nick. Let's get it all. She said downstairs, so we need to go downstairs. Where's downstairs? How do I get downstairs? Door? Hello? Toilets? You? How do I get... Huh? Over here? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Nope. Who are you? Hey there. Good neighbors, crazy. Babs, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Uh... I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Who's... Uh... What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I'm from the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing. You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Uh, yeah, sure, something like that. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. Yeah, a little bit. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and Recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. Uh -huh. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so um. he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Uh. Sure, Kent. You have a plan. 
that, all right. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Yeah, sure. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Uh huh. Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Sweet. That, that actually sounds like a really awesome uh, quest, but let's go talk to the crazy doctor first before we get into raising the dead and putting them in a trench coat. All right, Nick, let's go. Take me to... Oh, the stairs were just right here the whole time. <laughs> Hello? Dr. Amari? Oh, it's yes. a lady. I take it this isn't a social call. Um... Let Nick explain. Yeah, let him this explain. All yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. But we got a computer, so help? Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. N Nick? So do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yeah, I got part of it. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I don't want... Like, what if it fucks him up? I mean, we have to, right? Let's you really ask. Think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start oh, cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Sure. Let's see here. Ah, uh, guys, we're about to watch some science happen. Me, Mr. Valentine, any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Hmm. Uh, is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But... What if we used to? Like mine? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Oh. Well, that sounds fun. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Sweet. On the other side. All right, let's get out of this armor real quick. But why not? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. But it won't let me leave it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was getting worried for a second. Alright, let's do this. This is gonna be neat. Please stand by. Uh, doctor? 
I'm ready. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Cool. Ooh. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Okay, this is some cool shit. I was not expecting this to be in this game. Hello. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Keller. This may prove disorienting at first. All five states now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all citizens of the new California Republic. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way and she protected me from dad <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings i never knew what happened to her after i left i didn't want to know not then huh oh, i was such a dummy back then what did i know about how the world worked I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Of course he had a messed up childhood. What joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I will let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. That one way the hell over there. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kinda green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. 
spot us standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Huh. So he doesn't he doesn't seem like the shittiest person. But it's can I be fine. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. You'll see. So something broke him. But we don't know any I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Anybody here? And now with the baby? Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. So I'm assuming somebody probably killed his family. That's what made him go dark side, I suppose. I mean, he was always like a mercenary, but... How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Huh. So it was probably the Institute that killed his family. Had to have been, right? Or maybe they, somebody else did it and they took him in. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. That's it? That, you're not gonna... Is it gonna restart? Can I restart? Because I want to... Can I go back in? Yeah, come on. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Mind if we sit down? There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. 
Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Hmm. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Damn. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Hmm. Manual override. Oh, initiated. shit. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come oh, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. 
like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. So who's the old man? Who could, who's he talking about? Hmm. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in, he's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Hmm. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Well, then. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Holy shit. Talk about some exposition. <laughs> Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? All right, I guess. Um... I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh, yeah, the, the teleportation? Virgil? Uh, there's so many questions. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Uh, we have to go to Virgil. He's the only lead that we have. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there, probably. That's why he's there to make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Of course I'm going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. 
A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. Yeah, I have one of those you're standing right next to it. <laughs> I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Fucking awesome. Okay, that was really cool. I wasn't expecting us to be able to go into his damn brain. But anyway, oh god. We have a set course to go. We have to go talk to Nick here in a bit. Um, but first, I am going to stop the recording there because I've gone on far too long. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these last few episodes because they were pretty freaking sweet. All right. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. <laughs>